everyone, it's Froggy and I'm back again with another episode of Backstage Pass. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. What's up? Did something happen? I got a gig for television! Congratulations! What is it? You know that reality series with all those models? Yeah, model devotion or something, right? Right! Well, for the first time ever, they've eliminated the height requirement! I applied, and they've invited me to submit a headshot for consideration! That's great! But I was kind of wondering... Yes? Each of the models is paired with a makeup artist. Did you want me to put in a good word for you? Y you want to recommend me for another show? I know you're busy with vice versas, but this is a one-day thing. That's not too bad, right? I just think I'd have a much better chance with you as my makeup artist. Well, I'm certainly grateful for your confidence in me, but I don't know if I have the time. Come on! Do it for me! Should I agree to this? Oh... Yeah, alright, let's do it. I feel like I'm being guilt-tripped, but I guess I can fit it in. Thank you so much! You have no idea how much this means to me. I'm going to hug you now, okay? <laughs> what? Nicole throws her arms around me and gives me a tight squeeze. You're the best! Okay, I have to submit new headshots for the show, so I'll need you next Wednesday morning. That works for me. Cool, cool! See you at Dale's place! My birthday is this Thursday. I think I'll allow myself to be a little selfish and take a break. Uh, sweet. No emails. How are we doing? Our fatigue is okay. Now, can I call her yet? No, still? Alright. John! Hello? Hello. Hi, John. I was wondering if you wanted to go out somewhere today. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Whereabouts did you have in mind? Let's go to Cafe DM. I'd like to go to Cafe Diem. This is fine. Let's see if he gets mad at me wearing Good the same clothes. Miss Gooden. Your choice of wardrobe is lovely today. Nah, he just likes it. Thank you. Hey, any idea what you want to order? Recommend something to me. Um, alright, let's do this again. Those cranberry and white chocolate scones look good. Ah, another perfect afternoon tea? Yes, please. I hope you don't mind if I order for two. I'd much enjoy sharing this with you. Oh, okay. Thanks for today. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Man, he's handsome, and I like him with the glasses. <laughs> so good looking. Okay, let's get some sleep here. Um, and then we'll work. And then we'll work. And then we'll study, I guess. That looks good. It's the start of a new month. Time to see Professor Colwell for an update. Miss Gooden, I'm pleased to inform you that your grades are acceptable to keep your grant. Good work. Woot woot. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. Woo. My blog seems to be gaining traction. I earned $23 in ad revenue. My popularity went up to score. Selena, I miss you so much, my angel. Lloyd plants a kiss on Selena's cheek, and she does the same for him. So, how is the filming on Night Witches? As good as can be expected. Selena maintains a calm exterior, but I can hear in her voice that she's pleased. Lloyd picks up on the tone as well. I'm happier here. Do you think you'll be sticking around a little longer? It might not be so bad. See? Feel free to gloat, but I need to get to wardrobe. Oh, so mean. She's always been like that, you know. How slanderous. I should get out of here before the paparazzi shows up. Selena heads to the makeup trailer, doing her best to look serious, but I see a hint of a smile on her face. Oh no, do you have a thing for him? Are you and Lloyd friends? 
Yes. Why do you ask? It's just, I've never seen you make a joke before. You must be close to him. Lloyd is special. He's the reason I'm here. He invited you to play Katarina, right? Not just this show. Acting in general. You probably know I did a lot of acting when I was younger. When my show was cancelled, my world fell apart. I was just a child, I didn't know how to handle that sort of disappointment. All the attention and adoration was suddenly gone, and I needed it. So I did what all foolish children do. I threw a tantrum in front of the whole world. It started out with shoplifting small things, then vandalism. I tried to see how much I could get away with. The paparazzi ate it all up. Every day, people tuned in to see how their perfect angel was going out in a blaze of glory. I think I remember some of that. Who doesn't? The intervention was less than graceful. It ended with me being shipped off to live with my grandparents in the middle of nowhere. I spent my high school days hiding my identity and hating everyone around me. Then, Lloyd and I got paired together for a class skit and he noticed I had an act for acting. So, he asked me to join the drama club. Aw, that's sweet. I said no. Oh. But Lloyd's a persistent man, in case you haven't noticed. It took him two months, but I finally gave in. The truth is, I missed acting, and it was really nice to be able to do it without any pressure or expectations. I don't think he even recognized me until years later. If it weren't for him, I would have given up acting altogether and I'd probably still be angry. When he graduated, he made me promise that I'd star in one of his shows one day. And so here I am. And we're very happy you are. Vice versa wouldn't be the same without you. Ah, oh, it was nice to get to know her a little better. Nicole's waiting for me at the studio, but she doesn't look happy. Hey, what's wrong? I got into another fight with my mom. About model devotion? Yeah. She said that it wasn't worth it for me to even try. What? That's cruel. That's mom. Well, we'll just have to prove her wrong, won't we? I wish I was as confident as you. Are you kidding? I'm confident in you. Now let's get to work. I'm glad you're my friend, Sean. Thanks for believing in me. You make it easy. Some people find a birthday alone to be sad, but I'm happy to finally have a quiet moment to myself. I grab a book, curl up in bed, and spend the rest of the day reading. My stress seems to melt away as I do. Really? We had nobody wish us a happy birthday? That's just mean. Nobody loves us. We're not close to anybody. Just a reminder, the filming for Model Devotion is this Friday. See you there. Okay. Uh, nothing here. I know we're doing pretty good here. We've got oh, almost two full hearts of John. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Why don't we go shopping? Let's go to the mall. <laughs> oh. oh, Sean, it's good to see you again. We already missed Valentine's Day. Well, whatever. You too. We don't really see each other outside of work, do we? And then it's all business. We totally need to hang out in our downtime. Nicole pulls out her phone and hands it to me. Finally. Digits here, please. Oh, um, sure. I punch my number into the phone and hand it back. All right. Her fingers fly across the screen as she fires off a text. A second later, my phone chirps. And now you've got my number. Call me sometime and let's hang out. Will do. Laters. See you around. Where should I shop today? Brains and puzzles, I guess. Let's see what we still are missing here. We are missing this. That's it. All right, cool. <laughs> Any questions for? Uh, I'll go my homework. Mm, looks fine. fine to me. Hey, so.
someone on my blog is asking for advice on which brand of foundation to use. <laughs> I feel kind of cool now. We're making him look beautiful. As I hop off the bus, I spy a familiar figure hanging around outside the studio. Allison? What? What are you doing here? Is there more filming for extras today? Not sure. I just figured I'd come by and check. Are you allowed to do that? Depends on the project, but there are some cases where it's okay to show up to the set and see. I've never heard of anything like that before. But I know today's script is just John and Selena. Really intimate stuff. Intimate? That's the way Lloyd described it, at least. No work for me today after all. Disappointing. Sorry about that. Better luck next time. Yeah, I hope so. Now I feel bad. Loops. Today's the day that Nicole's episode of Model Devotion is being filmed. I'd better head to the studio to meet her. I'm so nervous. This is a really big deal. Oh, but you look adorable. I pick through my makeup case until I find the proper foundation for her. Hey, being nervous is normal. But I know you'll be fantastic. Just breathe and be yourself. You really think so? Nicole! I didn't know you'd be here. Oh god, not her again. A model approaches, but I don't recognize her. Oh, never mind. Hey, Lena! I didn't think so either, but they dropped the height requirement for this season. Lena nervously smooths out her already styled hair. Well, good luck. Nicole places a hand on her shoulder. Good luck to you too. And try not to freak out too much. Just breathe and be yourself. Right, I'll do my best. Lena nods and skitters off. Well, that advice sounds familiar. Hey, I know good advice when I hear it. Is she a friend of yours? Not yet, but hopefully one day. I thought you didn't get along with most of the other models. Yeah, but not everyone is terrible, and I'm always on the lookout for a new friend. Nicole stands and straightens her dress. Well, I'm off to be judged by complete strangers! Good luck! As soon as Nicole leaves, I begin tidying up my station. The other makeup artists are doing the same. Wow, how many of us are there? I didn't get to see many of the other models, but all the work done today was really good. I'm suddenly even more grateful for all of the work that I've been getting. I glance at the printed schedule we've been given. It's got crossed outlines and extra events scribbled in pen, so it takes a moment to decipher. From the looks of it, there will be three rounds total, but makeup artists won't be needed again until the final round. The other makeup artists have already figured this out. Many of them have opted to take a quick lunch break before work starts again. Part of me wants to join them in chat, but I don't know any of them, and I don't want to interrupt them. Plus, I brought along some homework. Now's probably a good time to work on that. A few hours pass before Nicole returns with Lena. They both look exuberant. It's not hard to guess that they've both made it to the final round. Nicole immediately sets herself in front of me, and I set to work touching up her makeup. Lena hovers around the chair for a moment before mustering up the courage to speak. Um, good luck in the final round, Nicole. Yep, you too. Lena waves and heads off to her station. I finish my work and give Nicole one last check. All right, you're good to go. Thanks for everything, Sean. The final models are quickly ushered to the filming area again. I return to my homework and don't even notice Nicole rushing towards me. I look up just as she tackles me with a huge hug. <laughs> Thank you! I take it you won? Tied for first! The first tie ever in the show's run! Congratulations! With whom? <laughs> Lena, of course. Lena approaches with a smile on her face. Keep an eye out for that one. With her talent, you'll be seeing her around a lot. Good to know. A faint blush creeps up the side of Lena's cheeks. Oh, I, I don't think that's true. Nicole folds her arms across her chest. Well, I think it is, and I'm always right, so there. I if you say so. Well, I'm very proud of both of you, and I look forward to being able to work with you again sometime. Count on it! 
Nice. Hey, sorry to bother you, but I've got something big coming up that I'd like help with. Meet me at Cafe Diem on Wednesday to talk about it. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.